Hello, uh, today I will present how to model a wing uh, by using the Tornado Vortex Labs method uh, on MATLAB. Actually, you, you can download the Tornado Vortex Labs method from this website and go to download and uh, download the last version of this uh, program. When you download this, you will find uh, this file extract this file here and then open this folder and go to the tornado and open it when you open it you will find the, this tornado uh, the main, we'll call the main program and then uh, hit the run this is the main menu of the tornado program and uh, you can make your geometry by using this number one and uh, set up your uh, flight condition by using number two and then you can move your reference point which is important for the pitch moment and after that generate the lattice and after that process uh, or make the program uh, get the result so today we will make a new geometry so select uh, aircraft geometry and uh, today we will make this wing with this uh, configuration the semi span 10 uh, root chord 1 meter taper ratio is 0.5 dihedral 5 degrees twist uh, of the tip minus 2 degree and we will use the, this airfoil as the root on and tip cover so or we will select define new geometry and this is we have just one wing number of wing is one and number of semi span partition for this wing here uh, in our geometry we have just one partition of the wing so uh, we will select just one partition and uh, we will specify the center of gravity we will select zero 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 and reference point is 0, 0, 0 and uh, is the wing mirrored in the exit plane? Yes. And here we will select the root chord, this one, meter. Here you can select your airfoil for the root cord. So uh, today we will use 20, uh, NACA 2412 for the root cord. So uh, you just need to write like this. Number of panel cord wise. This is the number of panel cord wise. Uh, for example, here. This is 5, you can increase this number based on your accuracy. Uh, here today we will use 5 and partition dihedral. Here we have 5 degree and number of panels semi span, for example, on this wing 10. And span of partition. Our uh, semi span is 10, 10 meter, and the table ratio is 0.5 here. The tip cord airfoil, uh, we will select NAC 12 for this section, so just write 0012. And the quarter chord line sweep is 15 degree. Outboard twist, the twist of the tip is minus 2. And this is the available mesh distribution type for the panel distribution. Uh, for example, the linear is like this wing, 
uh, and uh, you can specify or you can select the span wise half cosine or span wise half cosine cold wise cosine as well uh, now we select linear is partition club it no zero now we finish from the geometry you can actually you can save the, the geometry instead of doing this again for uh, for her calculation uh, now we select one and you can save your geometry and uh, you need to name it and also you can edit your geometry by uh, using number three and you can for example add another wing or remove a wing or add another partition for the wing um, and also you can edit the wing as well or load the geometry for example load the geometry to see the, the wing okay this is our wing Uh, the red one is the reference point and center of gravity also at the same point and this is the mean aerodynamic code and you can see the dihedral here if you are happy with your geometry then you can go to the flight state now we will set up the flight condition so select number two and define a new state the angle of attack for example here select five degree and beta zero roll and angular zero 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 uh, now you can select the true airspeed for the aircraft either selecting the true airspeed and or uh, true airspeed and altitude so we'll select number two and select the airspeed 50 meter per second for example and the altitude is 10 kilometer and if you are dealing with high Mach number you can apply the brandle uh, correction for the left hand, but here we will not use it. Now you need to generate the latest. Before you generate the latest, you can move the reference point to the the quarter of the mean aerodynamic code. So just select number four and move reference point to position on Mac mean aerodynamics code and here uh, we will move the reference point to the quarter of the mean aerodynamic code so we'll select 25 first now we need to generate the latest by and uh, you can select the free stream following wake but this is for tornado method or use the center uh, vortex class method today we will select the tornado method zero now you can uh, get your result by using number six and st static computation of our selected state at 5 degree and you need to specify the file name for your result for example in this case and the result is done so the solution available in Outworld now if you need to see your result you have to exit from the tornado so just Press zero and exit. You can go to the 
output folder and go to case two. So your result will be here. This is the information of the geometry about the geometry about the reference uh, value and uh, this is the result. This is the flight condition state. So the result is the forces represented by the left drag and CL, CD, left coefficient, drag coefficient and you can see the uh, force distribution or left distribution along the span. We can select the Y station and hitting the control, you can select the force per meter and you can see this is the left distribution. Also you can draw the Y station with local left coefficient and this is the local uh, left coefficient. The next video will present how to model the aircraft, the, all the aircraft, the main wing and the tails. Thank you very much.